So, uh, pull over here and talk for a couple minutes. Today is what, May 16th? Saturday, May 16th. Can't believe we're already better than halfway through May. It's what, about 5.20 p.m.? Okay. Alright, now let's... There we go. Can I put this on the dash? Let's just give it a try. Nah, it's not gonna stay. Nope. No matter what I do, it won't. Um, maybe it will. No, nope, it won't. It won't do it. So I'll, I'll just, I'll just hang on to it. All right. Well, I got a tip from Blazer to make sure that there's no trolls in the back of my truck. So I guess they like to jump on the backs of pickup trucks. So we'll check on that. All right. All right. That's enough being silly. Okay. So what's going on? The price of gasoline is on the rise again. Well, I certainly hope it doesn't reach that $4.50, $4.60 business that we had uh, around a year ago. Um, that was one of my very first jobs. It was my very first job, was to be a full-serve gasoline attendant. I was a teenager, so that would have been in the 1980s. And, um, you know, at that time, the price of gasoline was about $1.30 a gallon. Okay, I realized that things go up. Minimum wage was three thirty-five an hour, and you know, if you were 14, 15, 16 year old working with working papers, or even even 20 years old or under, and still living with your parents and probably either a high school or a college student, that wasn't bad. I mean, it didn't, you couldn't live, a full-fledged adult couldn't live on that, but it, it was all right for a kid. Uh, so anyway, at that time, like I said, gasoline was going for about a dollar thirty a gallon, and they were fuel injected cars were starting to hit the market, and they were every manufacturing generation they do talk about trying to make everything more fuel efficient, and they were working on it, and they were doing they were making good headway. All of the automakers were well. Uh, at that time, like I said, we were looking at about a dollar thirty a gallon. So I could see, you know, if, if a large pizza was six dollars at that time and now it's twelve, I guess I could see it being two fifty a gallon. You know, but uh, gasoline is on the rise again, and I really hope that that doesn't um, continue. There's nothing that in my never accused of being humble opinion cheaper gasoline is raw vitamin pills to the economy as soon as the price of gasoline got to be these piping high prices that's what really hurt our economy yes we were in a bit of a recession anyway but companies weren't letting people go uh, and people weren't in the panic that they were in. Not that some of this wasn't coming anyway, don't get me wrong. Not that some of this wasn't coming anyway. But what really brought it to a head was gas prices getting to be into the higher sums of money. That is just, um, well, once, once it starts costing you an extra three hundred dollars a month to drive then you know, everything's a little bit harder so that's what I and the car manufacturers people don't buy new car the very first thing they do or don't do based on their security of their job if your job is secure the very first thing you do when you graduate college and you get that job you've been looking for usually the very first thing you do is buy a new car well, you don't do that if you don't think you're going to have that job or the money. If you lose your job or there's a chance you might, you don't buy cars. And and a large part of all of this are gas prices that are high. And as a result, who's going to put gas in their tank if they're not buying cars? Just something I'm thinking about. 
And to add insult to injury, companies like ExxonMobil are boasting record profits. It's like, well, that's nice if uh, you profited $25 billion last quarter and gas was four eighty a gallon. You could have you could have made twelve and a half billion dollars if it was two fifty a gallon. Uh, so you know why? That that's that's me on my soapbox for now. <laughs>